with your soul heart Then we explode The fire starts Then we let go When the smoke clears We dry our tears Only in love and war Hey, shout out to Tamar Braxton this morning. Girl, I hope you're doing okay, wherever you may be. Um, may the angels of protection be surrounding you at this point. And I um, hope all is well with your sister, girl. Actually, that's one of my favorite songs. <laughs> and uh, rest in peace to LaShawn Daniels also. Um, I think that was a classic. And... That's another one that's, um, wow. Gone too soon. I go, gone too soon. That's how I go. Mm. Like a blazing flower on a Sunday afternoon. Gone too soon. Ah ha ha ha! And it's gonna be night. One day, gone one night. Well, let me stop. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the crazy house with me, your host Khadija. Um, this story is not to disparage Mariah Carey in any kind of way. I just know that we all have issues. And a lot of times when we are, as human beings, write off other people with drug problems or, you know, they have challenges and they just seem to be on the left foot, as Miss Grant would say. Um, a lot of times it's the family members that ran you into the drug using in the first place, huh? I'm not trying to say it all, but I'm saying it's that early childhood um, that screw you up in the first place. Because we don't really realize just how precious that is um, when you have the ability to control a person's mind from the ruler to the tutor. And um, this story is so disturbing. And like I said, the Daily Mail put it out there. So um, I want to send my prayers up. To Allison, you know, and Mariah Carey and their whole family at this point, um, because there's some serious mental issues um, going on right here. So let, let me start here. It says that um, the sister of Mariah Carey, Allison, 57, is planning on suing their mother for forcing her to perform sex acts on strangers when she was just 10 years old and being made to watch other children being abused during satanic worship meetings. Now, this is all allegedly, of course, um, and I'm not saying that any of these things happen. I just said a lot of times when people use drugs and alcohol and run away from something, there's something that happened and very few people just start using drugs and say, ah, I love it. And, it, you know, I got, usually there's some underlying factor that they're trying to hide and run from. Trust me, I know. I ain't telling you what I read. I'm telling you what I know. Okay? So, um, I'm not, and like I said, I'm not saying whether this happened one way or the other. I'm just bringing it to you. She said her um her mother conducted satanic worship meetings, which left her with PTSD and depression. Allison, who was seven years older than Mariah, uh, has been rumored to be on the brink of homelessness, broke, and working as a prostitute for several years. She was found to be HIV in the 90s and ha has asked her sister for money. The pair have reportedly not spoken to each other uh, for nearly two decades. 
The estranged sister of a Mariah Carey is suing their mother. Again, she's claiming that she was sexually assaulted as a child. Um, she reported that Mariah uh, reported that the lawsuit was filed with the New York Supreme Court. And Allison alleges that as well as during her own abuse, she also had to watch youngsters being abused during the middle of the night in the satanic worship meetings that include, included ritual sacrifices. My God. Um, Allison is known to have once worked as a prostitute and is HIV positive. She is believed to have lost all of her teeth and is now desperate to get money to have them fixed. The lawsuit reveals more sordid details that Allison is said to have witnessed during the early 70s and states how her mother allowed and encouraged men to engage in sexual acts, including forcible touching and sexual assault in the first degree. In a previous interview in 2018, she claimed that a family member used to take her to an occult gathering, take her to occult gatherings in the early hours of the morning where she was abused by cloaked worshipers. Terrible things would happen, things that a child should never see, she said. I was sexually abused there. They told me that if I didn't do what they told me, or if I did, if, or if, if I, a little, a little. They told me that if I didn't do what they told me, or if I told them what was going on, they would harm Mariah. Allison claims the abuse went on for several years and states, though, the lawsuit that as a result of what she allegedly witnessed and endured, she has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress, disorder, anxiety, and depression which in turn put her on a downward spiral of drug use in an attempt to suppress the horrific memories. I'm not saying anything one way or the other. Um, but what I am saying is I'm not dismissing her at all. She also notes that the trauma she felt meant she had to undergo extensive professional counseling. Plaintiff now demands compensatory money damages for immense psychological and physical damage, mental pain and anguish, and international infliction of severe, of severe emotional distress, the suit states. In 2016, Mariah was found to be working as a prostitute. I mean, I'm sorry. In 2016, Carrie was found to be working as a prostitute out of a hotel in Socrates, Ulster County, in upstate New York, when she was caught in a sting operation by police. According to cops, Carrie was advertising herself online using her millionaire, multimillionaire pop our sister's lyrics. What was it? Dream love, come rescue me. It's cold. According to the cops, Mariah was advertising herself online. Carrie has been described by authorities as a transient, but had reportedly been offering her services out of hotels for four weeks. Soon after the event, Carrie spoke directly to her sister in a video recorded by the Daily Mail, asking the pop star who was worth an estimated $520 million for financial support. As well as struggling with HIV, the recovering drug addict was also reportedly left with brain and spine injuries after a devastating home invasion attack in 2015. In the video, she begs her sister, Singer, with whom she hasn't spoke with since a huge falling out in 1991. Myra, Mariah, I love you and I desperately need your help. 
please don't abandon me like this. She also said that she had worked as a prostitute in New York City before Mariah became famous in order to close her family. Now, what y'all think about this? Y'all think that she worked as a, a prostitute to support her own family um, and that Mariah's mama dropped the ball? And do you believe that her mother took her and had her um, during sacrificial type of stuff as a child? Because I'm not blaming Mariah's mother because I don't know, but I just, I'm just saying it is that kind of sh shit that will lead you to using drugs and alcohol and every damn other kind of drug you can get your hands on. You know? Um, I don't know if it's true or not. So, what y'all think? And leave your comments below, please. And uh, let's talk about it. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm going to see you in the next video. God bless the Carey family.